If you're losing on Betfair, stop gambling and start trading. Makes a lot more sense. So today, as usual, I'm going to pick a couple of matches. I'm going to go through them on the Tennis Profits website and try and predict who's going to win. And also come up with a trading plan to be able to use that on Betfair. So before I do that, let's have a look at yesterday's how did I do. From a betting point of view, not great. Both selections lost. But let's look in detail first. Or you shoot me, let's have a look in detail. So the first one, Azarenka Garcia. <clears throat> this was a little bit frustrating. Did this on a live stream last night. So the first game, Garcia serving, face to break point, managed to recover and hold. Uh, Azarenka taking the juice. Managed to hold, and then in Garcia's next <coughs> service game, she faced four break points, still wasn't broken. And a few games later, it was Azarenka who was broken, broken to 30. No more break points for the rest of the set. Garcia took it. So that wasn't expected. Uh, Garcia had struggled in her previous two rounds. She needed three sets in her first match. And in fact, her opponent had served for the match in set two. And then in her second match, she won in straight sets, but it was two, two close sets against an opponent who, if Garcia was at her best, would not have kept it close. So as I said, I did this on a live stream yesterday. I did make a comment fairly early on that it was possible that because Azarenka had not been tested in the previous rounds, if this one turned into a battle, she wasn't really ready for it. And also the fact that Garcia hadn't played her best tennis, but she'd had to battle in both matches to get through. Maybe she was more prepared for a fight. Don't know. I said that early on. Unfortunately, proved to be correct. Uh, I say unfortunately because I was on Azarenka. Okay, so in the second set, this is where it got frustrating. Um, I didn't lay Garcia because Azarenka was serving first in the second set, as you can see there, broken to 30. Now that gave us a set and a break entry, one of my favourite entries, really good value. Very good chance that the leading player is going to relax a little bit, lose a little bit of intensity, and that allows the uh, trailing player to make a bit of a recovery. And I thought that that was exactly what was happening in here. Um, Azarenka, sorry, Garcia went love 40 down. She managed to save all those. She had six break chances, did Azarenka in this game. Don't know about not being able to break Garcia, that pretty much broke me. It was the early hours of the morning. Couldn't believe that she just could not get a break in this match. So uh, Garcia held 2-0. And then after that, Azarenka served really well. In fact, if you look at these, there were no more break points in the set. So Garcia took that in straight sets. Very frustrating. Came out with a small red. That's Dennis. Have a look at the other one. The other match was <clears throat> Trevison against Dolhide, favouring Trevison to win in three. Okay, started off, she got a break in the first game. Dolhide broke back for 2-2, two -two, was immediately broken again, and then broken again, so Trevison took the first set 6-3. Set two, pretty tight at the start. Trevison saved a break point in the first game, but she got the first break of the set to lead 3-1, held to lead 4-1. So she's a set and 4-1 up. But it was only one break in the set. Dolhide got that break back. Gets to 4-all, gets to 5-all. Trevison held for 6-5, and then with Dolhide serving at 5-6, Trevison had three match points. Didn't take them. It's a bit of a theme last night, people not taking break points. So they went into a tie break. Pretty tight tie break. 
Travis had had another match point. Didn't take it. Dolhide eventually, at the sixth attempt, took the tie break. So I would imagine Trevison was pretty peed off by this point. Didn't trade this match. And it was just a single break. In fact, there were only two break points. Um, both of them on Trevison's serve. Dolhide got one of them, took the set 6 3. So. Plenty of trading opportunities in that one. But as for picking the match winner, didn't get that one either. Let's see if I can do better today. So for today's matches, I'm going to have a look at Garcia Sakari in Guadalajara and also Minen Wong in Guangzhou. So let's get into those, see if I can do better than I did yesterday. Okay, Garcia, Sakari. Garcia leads the head-to-head 3-1. -head Last time they played was in February this year on a hard court. Sakari took that in a third set tie break. All the matches were on hard. Garcia's last win, November 2022. Um, straight sets. Also in August 2022. Three sets. And then back in 2017, that was a straight sets win. Hard win percentages in the last year favour Sakari. Last season, Garcia made the third round. Sakari looks like she played the semi final and the final on the same day. Uh, she made the final, lost to Bagula in straight sets. Right, straight down to the bottom. Uh, make sure we've got the right filters, hardcore, main tour, and a one year. So this is for the year. Garcia leads service hold percentage. She leads first serve points one percentage and second serve points one percentage. Sakari has just one of the magic four stats. Uh, predicted holds slightly favour her, so that's over the full year. Let's look at more recent numbers. Last three months, that's a bit different. Sakari now leads service hold percentage, first serve points win percentage. Close on second serve points one percentage, but Garcia leads that. And Sakari has the predicted holds. So over the last three months, Sakari's got three of the magic four. So from what I've looked at so far, I'm favouring Sakari. But it does look pretty close. Garcia leading over 12 months. In a little bit more detail. So as we've just gone through, Garcia <coughs> the Azarenka, straight sets. Baptiste, straight sets, but two close sets. And Sasnovich served for the match in the second round, second set. She lost to Collins. That wasn't a great performance from Garcia at all. Collins was playing well that week before she picked up a bit of a strain. Garcia beat Stevens there. Stevens had a poor match as well. Just about everybody had a poor match. <laughs> At some point in San Diego, not sure what was going on. Something in the water, maybe. Quarterfinals in Cleveland. Beat Stearns, Frubatova. Lost to Zoo. 1.45 favourite in that one. Then better results earlier on in the year. Fourth round, Indian Wells. She reached a final in Monterey. Fourth round at the Australian Open. Okay, Sakari. Sakari has not lost a set this week. Georgie probably would be expected to give her the tougher match and actually took fewer games than the rest of her opponents. Lost to Navarro, that was disappointing in San Diego, third set tie break. Made the final in Washington, lost to Goff in two, beat Pagula. Keys and Fernandez that week.
Same as in Indian Wells. Be Kavitava. Lishkava. Anybody can do that. Doha semis. Lost to Pagula in three. Beat Garcia. Third set tie break. Also beat Alexandrova. Decent week for her there. Third round at the Australian Open. So more recent stats are favouring Sakari. Um, Garcia picked her level up last night against Azarenka. It could be, I didn't see it this way before the match, but once the match had started, I think it could be she was prepared for a battle by having to battle against opponents that she really shouldn't have needed to battle against, if that makes sense. Um, Azarenka yesterday just had it too, or had had it too easy up to that point in the tournament. And when Garcia was putting up more resistance than maybe she was expecting, certainly more than I was expecting, she wasn't ready for it does happen sometimes. Sakari's look pretty solid. She's had a comfortable draw to be honest. Uh, but she's got the job done. She's in reasonable form. Recent stats favour her. I'm going for Sakari to take that but in three sets. From a trade point of view, let me find my notes. Okay, I've got Sakari starting at 163. I'm going to back her around about 2.2 to 2.3. Liability out by the time she gets back to 165. And it's worth laying the set one winner. Okay, that's that for that one. Okay, the other one is in Guangzhou. This starts at dinner time. Don't miss that one. Minen against Wong. Wong's a slight favourite. Haven't played before. Hard win percentages in the last 12 months favour Minen. Okay, let's look at the stats. We've got main tour one year. Okay, Minen leads service hall percentage. Wong leads first serve points one. Minen leads second serve points one and also leads predicted hold. So she's got three of the magic four. The magic four being service holds, first serve win percentage, second serve win percentage and predicted holds. If you get a player who leads on all four of those, decent indication that they're going to win. Let's look at more recent numbers. Okay, that looks to be the same. Service holds better for Minen. She also leads return points one. First serve points one still favour Wong. Second serve points one better for Minen. And predicted holds better for Minen. So just based on the stats alone, um, decent chance of three sets. Slight edge to Minen, who is the slight underdog. Okay, last season they didn't play. This tournament. So Minen this week needed three sets against Bronzetti in the last round. Three sets against Dart in the second round. Straight sets against Parry in the first. She reached the third round at the US Open. Going out to... Kazakina beat Vickery, Venus Williams. Not the worst draw that, uh, that a player will get. Final of a challenger. Lost in three sets to Yastremska. That was in August. Not too much before then in this, uh, this season. So form's just picked up more recently. We'll look at Wong, she beat Runkakova, three sets. Straight sets against Schneider and Podoroska. Disappointing in Osaka, went out to Zoo. Although she was a slight underdog in that one. Final of an ITF, that was in September, second round of the US Open. 
few qualifying round matches. Second round in Prague. Beat Towson to get there. Uh, lost to Schmiedlover as moderate favourite. Second round in Miami. Lost to Martic. No great shame there. Second round Indian Wells lost to Potapova in three. Second round Merida. So nothing spectacular for her all the way through really. This is probably her best WTA result so far this season on hard courts. So I think looking at recent form, <coughs> Minnan has the edge there. The stats to back that up. Three month stats back that up. And in fact the 12 month stats back that up as well, don't they? Yes, they do. Because Wong leads the first serve points one percentage, which is one of the stronger of those four stats that I highlight perhaps more than some of the others. I think it's a good chance of three sets. So trading plan. Wong, when I did these notes earlier, <clears throat> was 1.71 on Betfair. Looking to lay her around about 1.45, remove liability at 1.9. And it's worth laying the set one winner, as long as the first set has been competitive. So that's it for today. Uh, thanks for watching this, and hopefully I will see you tomorrow.